So obviously this team had uh, your number for a lot of this season, but how big was that for, for this group? Yeah, it was, it was a good win. Um, obviously, or it's a battle with them. It's a good game all the time, and they're a good team. So for us to come out and, and uh, play like we did tonight, especially in the second and third, it was, uh, it was a good win for us. Obviously, you're on the COVID protocol list. Uh, how have the last few weeks been for you personally? Uh, yeah, a little bit frustrating. Just uh, not being able to to get into a rhythm because I was kind of the game or two before uh, I had to go into COVID protocol. I was starting to get my legs back and starting to feel better. And um, for that to hit at the, that time, it was a bit frustrating with the timing. But um, yeah, I, I feel good. feel like my legs are coming around. And um, yeah, it's just nice to get back out on the ice today. Mark Spector, Sportsnet. Hey, Kyle. Um, yeah, I was going to say that you haven't had a lot of luck this year, right? Just the stuff that you thought would happen and wanted to happen. Uh, and then it, you get one in off your rear end. Uh, is that a <laughs> is that the hockey gods kind of throwing one to you there? <laughs> yeah, no, I hope so. It, uh, yeah, it was just, uh, yeah, the timing and just kind of the beginning and, and kind of the season is it's been frustrating. I, I know I need to play better and I want to contribute more and um, yeah, just the timing of it has all been frustrating, uh, especially with, like I said, with this COVID stuff, but, um, yeah, I mean, the, the balance tonight, uh, feel like my legs are coming around and, and I know I need to play better, but I, I feel like I'm moving in that direction. You had a, a probably your best game of the season. The last one you played before you went out, uh, you come back tonight, you play a good game. Meanwhile, the talk around the trade deadline is this team needs a third line center. You're supposed to be the third line center here. Do you feel like that job's yours for the reclaiming? Yeah. No, I mean, like I said, I, I know I need to play better. Um, I didn't have a good first however many games of the season. And um, just getting into the rhythm, getting my legs back, I, I know what I can do and, and I know how I can contribute. And I just need to start doing that consistently and, and um, show everybody I can. So I'm. that's what I'm going to start to do. I mean, that's what I'm trying to do and, and feel like I'm moving in the right direction. Jim Matheson, Post Media. Uh, Kyle, uh, you seem to be all, all around the puck tonight, too. You touched it a lot. You had more touches with the puck than you've had in a lot of games. Did you feel that? Yeah, definitely. Um, like uh, the question before this, uh, kind of the game before I went on the COVID list, I, I felt pretty good. I felt like I had the puck lots. So I was making plays and um you know I was just trying to keep that feeling and it's been three weeks but at the same time I I just uh I feel good and and when I'm feeling the puck and getting around the puck and and have the puck more I I feel like I'm able to create and contribute more for my line mates and and create opportunities so I uh yeah I just I need to get on the puck and stay on the puck uh to play my best did it seem like the Oilers hung around? They wouldn't let, or Mike Smith, I guess, wouldn't let Toronto get a third goal. So you hung around, and then in the third period, it was much like I thought the Winnipeg game you won, you know, a couple of weeks ago, where you kind of took over in the third period and you had some chances and you won, ended up winning the game. Yeah, no, we we definitely played a, a stronger second and then a better third, and I mean Smitty made some big saves. He, uh, especially the one in you know, over time there on Matthews that allowed us to come back the other way. So it, uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're just coming together as a team and, uh, down the stretch here, you know, the last 20, 20 games, you want to be making strides in the right direction and, and getting hot at the right time going into playoffs. Mark Spector. Yeah, I don't like, we can't critique a win when you walk in the first place teams building and beat them. That's generally good enough, Kyle. Uh, but I guess I would ask you how we should look at this game, right? You, you guys got outshot a fair bit and, you know, Toronto had a lot of chances and you guys got it out and end up in the winners in overtime. Is this, was this the Oilers winning a game where maybe they could still play better or do I underestimate a team that played pretty well? I, I mean, any game, no matter what, you can always play better. You can always find things you need to improve on. And, uh, that's why you want to be hitting your, your best stride come game 56 or game 82 so that you're going into the playoffs on a high note and feeling good and together and connected as a team. Um, so, yeah, I mean, obviously we could have played better tonight, but
but at the same time to, to be a good team in their building and uh, play strong in the second, strong in the third. And, you know, I, I mean, I still thought we had quite a bit of offensive zone time. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're just, it was, it was a good win. Perfect. Thank you.